Welcome back to ANS. I'm Sathara, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a painting like this. So this painting is the window, and I posted something like this on my Instagram where I made a miniature painting of this. So I decided to make a tutorial on this because I thought it looked really pretty, and I thought you guys would like it. 100% cotton uh, paper for this. So this is the paper I'm using. So let's just get into it. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. So to mix uh, purple, you're just gonna need this purple with some white. And I'm using palette watercolors, so you guys can use tubes as well. So once you have your color mixed, just keep on mixing it until the water is absorbed inside the paint and then it won't soak up as much as paint. So now you're just gonna have to make the line as straight as possible. You just wanna paint in the background any color of your choice. I'm choosing purple because I really like the color. You guys also need to keep your lines as straight as possible, but if it's messy, that just makes it even co cooler and funnier. And guys, try to keep your sides even, so don't make one side of the line too big and don't make the other side of the line too small. So, um, if you guys are having trouble and you just want to keep all the lines straight, I suggest using tape. Also guys, you can make your background any color, feel free to blend in some colors. You can add all types of colors, blue, purple, anything, and you can just blend the background, it doesn't have to be one color. I'm just going for one color and I'm adding some dark highlights to just make it pop a bit. Okay guys, so now once you have your background filled just like me, um, and if you want it to dry quicker, or if you use a bit too much water, what you guys can do is you can use some tissue paper. I suggest using two if your paper is a bit thick, and just lay it down however, and press it down so it soaks up all the water and your paper won't be as much as clumpy anymore. <laughs> So now that it has soaked up all the water, and your paper should now look like this. So once it looks like this, now what you can do is now you're going to paint up the window. So if yours just looks a bit dry like mine, what you guys can do is you can add a bit more paint. So I'm just going to add very little. So your brush should look like this. It can be smaller, it doesn't really matter. So then choose a color of your choice. I'm going with blue because it matches purple a lot. Because this is a square brush, it's gonna be really easy to make the shape of the window. So you wanna be really careful with this part. If not, you can just make adjustments later, but just drag it really carefully. Now we're gonna be adding some highlights to our blue. So if you're using a dark color for the window, I suggest adding black highlights. If you're going to use a lighter color, then add white highlights. So because I'm using a really dark color, I'm going to mix some blue with black. So for this part, you guys can just go crazy with all the colors. I had so much fun making this, these, and they're honestly so easy to make. And you guys can use markers, acrylics, any type of paint, or even crayons can work with this, as long as you guys are able to layer the paint. Now it's time to do the best part of the painting, and it's design. Call it my own. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and you guys can all have your little own window painting. Bye!